Pro-democracy protesters in Hong Kong are calling for global unity with their cause after China imposed a sweeping national security law. Over the weekend, some demonstrators made a point of waving American flags to mark the U.S. Independence Day celebrations. This as one of Hong Kong's most prominent activists vowed to continue campaigning for democracy. Joshua Wong is that activist, a figure detained many times by police. He's now being prosecuted for his involvement in last year's protests. With the risk of our personal safety, with the threat of life sentencing, we might be worried and also being targeted by Beijing. But we also encourage the, world, the global community to let our voice be heard in the world. Once we still have any possibility, we still hope to let the world to know that now is the time to stand with Hong Kong and now is the time for Hong Kongers to keep our momentum. And DW's Phoebe Kong joins us now from Hong Kong. Uh, Phoebe, activist Joshua Wong there calling for global action on Hong Kong. What kind of international response can Mr Wong and his fellow pro-democracy activists expect? Some Western countries have begun to lay out countermeasures um, to uh, impose on China in, in response to the new security law in Hong Kong, um, especially U.S. Um, U.S. Council General told the press today that um, he described um, the new law as a tragedy to Hong Kong and urges um, to let Hong Kong be Hong Kong again, and that um, he criticized um, the, new, the, the, uh, the new law as uh, erosion of freedoms and autonomy and openness in Hong Kong. And uh, we saw that um, the U.S. Congress has already passed um, several acts uh, to impose uh, visa and export restric restrictions on China and Hong Kong. And apart from that, over the past few days, Canada also followed suit by uh, suspending the extradition treaty with Hong Kong and uh, stopping um, the uh, exporting of sensitive military items to Hong Kong. So um, I think uh, like many Western countries are now uh, starting to impose, um, maybe they're like uh, to follow the same kind of measures and uh, routes, um, like just like the U.S. Beijing has imposed that new security law on Hong Kong. It's very controversial. What impact is it having on Hong Kong so far? In terms of law enforcement, um, 10 people um, have already been arrested uh, over charges under the new security law, and one of them has already been prosecuted and brought to court like um, for uh, uh, prosecuted over uh, inciting secession and meeting terrorist uh, activities because he drove a motorbike towards uh, a group of police and by carrying a flag written Liberate Hong Kong Revolutions of Our Times, which is a popular slogan during protests in Hong Kong throughout the past few years. But recently, the Hong Kong government has declared this slogan as a pro-independent slogan. And, the part, and, and uh, apart from law enforcement, we also see that there's a sweeping um, self-censorship and fear chilling effect in, in Hong Kong, that people are now censoring their speech on social media and uh, no, 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 no matter online and offline. And uh, libraries are now um, start taking down books written by um, activists like Joshua Wong because they see this could be something um, as like sensitive materials in government's eyes. So I think like apart from law enforcement, people are really like are living like under a chilling effect under the new law. So there's self-censorship and fear, but as we heard from Joshua Wong, uh, activists are planning to continue their protests. Now, primary elections are taking place this coming weekend. Can we expect to see protests then? Well, after the uh, handover anniversary, the street protest has actually come down a little bit. So um, activists and pro-democracy figures are now focusing um, on the uh, coming primary elections that uh, they wish to pick up um, the, 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 candidates, uh, the candidates for the Legislative Council election uh, in the coming um, September. But uh, it's still unclear whether it can be organized as, uh, as they wish, because um, police might um, like, um, like stop and search and um, harass them, uh, as we see over the past few weeks. And, um, and so the, uh, in their eyes, the, the, the coming election is a major battlefield for them to continue their uh, uh, activism um, in a legal and more peaceful way. Phoebe, thank you very much for bringing us up to date there. That was DW's Phoebe Kong in Hong Kong.